Recently, everyone has been talking about how interest rates are going up. Raise interest rates. Interest rates are going up. Raising interest rates. Let's start talking about what's happening with this rise we've seen in interest rates. As you may have noticed, rising interest rates are almost always portrayed as a bad thing for consumers. And for good reason. They make getting a loan more expensive, like a mortgage, an auto loan, or a credit card. But when it comes to investing, rising interest rates can actually be a good thing if you know how to invest strategically. Here's what to consider. But first, what does it mean when we say that interest rates are rising? It starts with the Federal Reserve, the US Central Bank, that announces a federal funds rate hike. That means that the Federal Reserve is increasing how much banks are charged to borrow money from other banks. That so-called rate hike eventually trickles down to the economy, affecting treasury bonds, credit card interest rates, mortgage rates, and savings rates. All of those rates rise when interest rates rise. So how can you take advantage of that trend? The first investments to consider are certificates of deposit, also known as CDs. CDs are investment vehicles where you park your money for a specific amount of time and you get a guaranteed APY or annual percentage yield. CDs are considered risk-free because their deposits are insured by the FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. So while stocks and bonds can rise or fall, CDs are guaranteed and carry no risk. As interest rates have risen lately, so have CD rates, and in fact, some banks and credit unions are currently offering certificates of deposit around 5%, which is double the rate seen 12 months ago, so that's something to consider. And you should consider watching our episode that's entirely about certificates of deposit and how to get the best rate. Another investment that you should consider for times of rising interest rates are treasury bonds. You should think of treasury bonds like tiny loans to the United States Treasury. They carry an interest that the Treasury pays you, the bondholder, and that's called the bond's yield. When the Fed raises interest rates, Treasury bond yields also tend to rise, which is a good thing for bondholders because you can make more income. However, not all maturities are affected equally. In fact, short-term bond yields tend to rise more and long-term bond yields tend to be less affected. So that's something to consider when you create your strategy. Another way to take advantage of rising interest rates is to invest in companies that stand to profit from that trend. And those are the banks and financial institutions that make money by lending out money and charging, you guessed it, interest. So that's credit cards, business loans, auto loans, mortgages, and so on. As interest rates rise, so does the interest they stand to earn. That's why financial stocks are traditionally viewed as good investments in times of rising interest rates. That being said, stock performance can never be predicted 100% nor guaranteed because there are so many factors affecting stock prices that have nothing to do with interest rates. For example, regulatory risk or market sentiment can push stocks up or down and have nothing to do with interest rates. So it's important to have a diversification strategy for your portfolio and never put all your eggs in one basket. And if you want more content like this from MarketWatch and the Xplainomics playlist, please subscribe and keep checking back for more videos and we'll see you next time.